Good morning. This is Michelle with Museum Pros. Today I'm in the shop working on a case for a state historic park in Arizona. This design is a little tricky. It is all text in a three-dimensional case. So I mocked up an idea for putting a colorful background in the back of the case and then floating the text panels um, in different planes. I hope you can see it as I am twisting. Some are closer to you, some are farther away. But I need these panels to all hang exactly perpendicular to the bottom of the case. And so I've gone to the local craft store. I picked up some canvases and the home improvement store picked up some frames and we're going to see which ones hang the best. So I've unwrapped everything and right off the bat, I'm not crazy about the way the canvas looks. Um, it's got the textured surface to it and because it's fabric, um, it does have little dents in it, and I'm not sure how that's going to be picked up in the light. I do like it, though, because it is ugh, lighter weight than the frame. Because the museums I work with are smaller and on a budget, I do have to DIY. And sometimes that means you need to fix little corners like this one um, that's loose. So I think I will start by drilling the top of the frame running monofilament through um, and then suspending it to see if we get the look that I want. pretty happy with the way the frame hang turned out. I've just tied loose slip knots into it now, so it isn't exactly um, parallel, but in terms of it being perpendicular to the bottom and top of the case, I am pretty happy with that. I just measured three inches in, drilled into the very center of the plane of the frame, and it's perfectly even. I think I will go ahead and try the canvas too, just to make sure I'm not missing out on something. Okay, I used the exact same technique to hang the canvas. Came in two inches off the corners and drilled holes exactly in the center um, of that plane and used the same monofilament and types of knots to hang it. And it also hangs very straight. I think overall though, I do like the clean lines of the frame better and so I'm going to go with it. Another advantage of using the frame is that I can print ready to apply vinyls um, on my vinyl cutting machine and apply them directly to the plexiglass um, in the frame. That way I can do the entire thing here in the shop and I'll save the museum a little bit more money. 
I'm pretty pleased with the way this experiment turned out. I'm going to work on my knots a little bit and get thinner monofilament so it completely disappears. This exhibit is being installed at Tubac Presidio Historic State Park in Tubac, Arizona. Go see it after June 1st. I have a lot of these to make. I'm going to get busy now before it gets too hot. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting Museum Pros.